these are the areas that you're going to find Huns um, just on the edge of this cover they're like a dry slough a lot of vegetation this is one of the few the farmers haven't uh, plowed under it's obviously staying wetter for longer so um, this is where you're going to find partridge oh there you go there they go let's see where they go well <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be an interesting setup. Caviar Huns have just gone behind those bushes over there, and uh, behind that big mound is a massive dugout, and there's about 30 or 40 mallards in there. I passed up the mallards because I want to fly partridge, but if I put the falcon up right now, for sure I'm going to probably end up catching a duck. And I can't believe it, but I'm passing them up. Um, and my birds are, are really going well right now, and I'm just a bit twitched about bird flu and all that. So I would sooner catch partridge. But to orchestrate this flush now, I think I'm going to have to somehow try and flush the mallards without pushing the, the, the huns out, which is easier said than done. We're going to give it a go. Real gentle here. There's a shitload of mallards in there. There they go. There they go. That's good. Go on, boys. All go. Murphy's Law, the ones that stay behind, is the ones that are going to get caught. That's a fair few mallards going out. There's a few more going out with them. I visited this pond several times, particularly in early season when I was trying to enter my falcon and I never had a duck on it. Now I don't want to fly it, there's tons of them. Well, there's about 50 ducks that went off there. And I'm just gonna retreat now and then uh, put my falcon up some ways and then I'm gonna drive back. Hopefully we can get the dogs and relocate those ones. were just where Milo was, but he didn't catch any scent. Let's see what happens now. Falcon's right above. The ducks have all gone. He's coming down out of a nice pitch. I couldn't serve him. That sucks. Oh, I hate it when that happens. 